and welcome back to Tumas Tips and this, the autumn special. I'm joined by Nigel. Hi, Nigel. And I'm thinking actually it's the end of the summer. I don't have to worry about doing any gardening anymore. It's all done, isn't it? No, well, your plants now are beginning a bit tired and we really have to start looking now for the winter, having some colour. And what we're looking at are things like bulbs for the spring or winter pansies and violas. Something to give you, even on the coldest days, a little bit of colour outside your front door. Now, I didn't realise you could actually have that much right. colour in the winter. But so what are we going to start off with? Well, today we're going to start off with showing you how to do a tub uh, of bulbs. Now, is this going to be a mixed tub? So I've basically, we're going to start off with the crocs. So you've got some drainage because your tub will get quite wet in the winter. So you've got mm. to have some good drainage so the bulbs don't rot. And basically, we're going to do three layers here, some good bulb compost at the bottom. Now that's something I wouldn't have thought of. I've, you know, you put, put your bulbs in, but I wouldn't have thought yeah. about putting them in layers. Yes. Well, the layers, you get the different heights. So you've got, we're going to start off with big tulips, nice dark tulip. We'll put a few of those in and they will come up to be the tallest. So they've got to have strong stems coming up through the compost. So right. got, they need support. So we're going to do about six or seven of those in the base. And on top of that, we're going to put another layer of bulb compost. I love the way you make it look so easy. Is it really this easy? <laughs> it is, it is, believe you me. And then we're going to have some nice colour here. We've got a nice dark colour to start, and then we're going to go with some white hyacinths. There we go. And on top of that, we'll do another layer of compost. We're going to go for some nice species dwarf narcissus. So we've got three nice colours coming up. And will they come up at different times? Yes, they will. So you've got a continuation right the way through the spring. I get a really good show out of these. The more we put in, the more colour we're going to get. Don't worry about overcrowding these. They're going to give us lots of colour. Right, there we go. And on top of that then, we'll finish off with another layer of compost. There we right. go. That's it, firm that down nicely. And look at that. One bag per pot. That's it. Bang on. Done. Excellent. <laughs> and that's it. You just that's leave it, it now. We'll just give it a good water. Right. Um, to start off with, and then really check it over about once a month to make sure it is the compost is not too wet or too dry, and that's absolutely fine. Perfect, excellent, what a great start. Yeah. So that's the spring sorted out, what about now in the winter? Well, what we're looking at now, your plants are basically going over, the frosts are going to be coming, and we want some colour there for later on. What we've got here is specially bred winter pansies and winter and spring violas. So what's the difference between these and the pansies and violas that I've got in my garden well, already? Well, basically, they're the summer varieties that give you nice colour through June, July, August. As you go into September, they'll be going over, going to seed. Now, you need some new vigour there, but they wouldn't last the winter, so they've bred new varieties that will go through right. even of the coldest of weather of January, February and March. So you can plant these in your pots and your borders and everywhere? Yes, you can do them in your baskets, in your tubs, just like um, you would do your bulbs. But the only thing is we've had one of the wettest summers on record. And if you're planting these outside in your garden, you've got to watch out for the dreaded slugs and the dreaded snails. They're not going to go away, are they? They're not going to go away. <laughs> They're still there, so they will have a little munch. So you're going to have to put precautions down to stop them. So you mentioned winter baskets there. Mm -hmm. Here we have a typical winter basket planted very well with your winter pansies, your winter cyclamen and some foliage plants. And underneath we sometimes put a few bulbs just like irises so they can come up in the coldest of weather in February. Now I presume here you've got experts who can guide you through the whole process of what to put in and where. Oh yes, we do have trained people that tell you exactly what you need. And if you wanted us to take something away, you can take our baskets that are on display at the front of the garden centre, ready made. That sounds like something for me. Easy gardening. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, thanks very much indeed again, Nigel. Lots of great inspiration and ideas. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate that. There's always so much more to it than you think. Oh, yes. And don't forget, do come on down to Tumors. It's a great way to spend an afternoon. Not only have you got a fabulous selection of plants to enjoy, you can have a coffee and just have a great day. Look up on the website, see what's going on here all the time. And we look forward to seeing you next time on Tumors Top Tips.